Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Have you ever seen a death claw? They're taller than a man and far, far stronger and faster. And there's a whole pack of them out there. You'd have to be the meanest, toughest, roughest bastard in the wasteland to have any chance against them, and I don't think that's you. You'd need to take out the pack leaders, the Mother Death Claw and the Death Claw Alpha Male. Kill them and the pack will scatter. Pretty tough job. Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Ah, yeah, can you believe some people still eat that stuff? Anyway, I've got this recipe for a Deathclaw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a Deathclaw egg. Kinda obvious, I suppose. My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female Deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At least, she did until some stranger came along and killed the Deathclaw. Shot it right in the eye. The quarry just north of here is full of Deathclaws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. Of course, a Deathclaw egg from anywhere will do. According to my Aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe.
Do you need something? Now, coming from anyone else, I'd say they were drunk or crazy. But that look in your eyes, I believe you. I can pay you, but it ain't much for what you pulled off. I'll get on the ham radio first thing and tell people all about you, though. Hey there, what's new? I can't believe you actually got one. Give me a bit to get the recipe set up, then talk to me again. This is incredibly good. Here's your omelet, and the recipe if you ever want to make your own. It takes a bit of skill to get it tasting right.